Hey everybody, thanks for joining me back here on the Greetery YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this pretty watercolor snowflake background by using a simple watercolor technique paired with our Frosty Flake stencil. All right, so I have this pretty grouping of um, birds and branches using our Robin and Wren set along with Blooming Branch and a few sprigs of uh, Evergreen Bough from the With Love at Christmas set kind of incorporated in there. And so I want to create a pretty background for this pretty scene. And so we're going to do that using the Frosty Flakes frame stencil, snowflake frame stencil. This is a, The Frosty Flakes is a two-piece stencil set. One is an all-over snowflake pattern and the other one is this pretty snowflake frame. And so I did a few cards for uh, when this stencil collection was released using watercolor along with the stencil and it was a really pretty and easy technique. And so I wanted to try that again and show you how it's done. So I have already treated my stencil using some pixie spray on the back side, which is really, really a great product for stencils. And especially if you're using some really detailed, intricate stencils, it keeps some of those edges from um, bending around while you're uh, sponging or other techniques. And especially for this technique with the watercolor that we're going to be doing, it uh, keeps the um, watercolor from seeping under all of the edges of the stencil. So it's not going to give you a precise uh, crisp image, which really isn't what we're going for since we're using watercolor. Um, that's not what we're going for anyway, but um, we want a little more abstract look, but we don't want it unrecognizable either. And so the, the Pixie Spray just provides a nice little bit of adhesive um, to give us a little bit more definition on those snowflakes because it adheres that stencil to the paper. And so I have a panel of watercolor paper here. A lot of times get asked about this watercolor paper when I use it on projects. This is just a really inexpensive uh, Hobby Lobby brand watercolor, which is Master's Touch. And I like it for simple backgrounds because it has a really pretty texture. It is uh, quite white compared to a lot of other watercolor papers out there. I wouldn't recommend it for a lot of technique type watercolors if you're going to be actually painting some images and doing some blending or uh, wet on wet techniques. I wouldn't recommend it for that, but it is really pretty for uh, simple backgrounds and easy techniques like we're going to be doing today. So I have a palette here with a mix of several different blues. Uh, water just, I kind of put a few blues on my palette and kind of mixed them around to get a good mix of color. And so I have a wet brush and what I'm going to do, you don't want a overly wet brush. You don't want it dripping, just a nice uh, amount of water in your brush. And we're going to just start kind of painting around this stencil. We're gonna start over here on the outer edge of our paper and we'll just kind of work around this design and paint over that stencil. Now as we get to the bottom edge of that snowflake design, I want to have a softer edge here on where that design ends. I don't want my watercolor to just end. I want to kind of blend it and give it a softer look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take mostly just plain water here, just clear water. It's okay if you have a little bit of color in your brush. And we're just going to wet this area underneath that design all the way up to where we've left off with our more intense watercolor. And we're just going to soften that out a little bit. And you can go ahead and you can drop in some more color in those areas if you want to while it's wet. And you can also drop in a little more color around the edges if you want more of a vignette around those edges. Now 
Now that's going to give us a nice soft look and we can go ahead and pull away our stencil and see what we have. And that worked out pretty well. Like I said, you don't get real crisp um, edges around the snowflake design. It's a little bit more of an abstract kind of um, look there with the watercolor. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. I'll actually probably hit it with my heat gun to speed up the process and then I'll be right back. So I'm back and my panel is all dry. One little tip for you, if you experience a lot of warping on your pa watercolor paper once it's dry, one thing you can try is to run it through your die cut machine without a die. Maybe just use your typical cutting plates along with the metal shim and go ahead and run that through and then that can help to flatten that out and straighten things out a little bit. So I want to add a little bit more to my background. I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to stamp some branches and this is using that little pine bough from the With Love at Christmas set. And I'm going to be using uh, Distress Oxide Bundled Sage ink. And we're just going to stamp a few of these branches kind of around the outer edges. And you can see I like to soften my ink just a little bit by sponging over it with uh, one of these little finger sponges. And I'll also be doing some generation stamping, which is uh, stamping again the same image without re-inking. And that just gives us a little variation in color and provides some depth. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. I also want to add some splatters. I love the way splatters can just really add a lot of character and uh, kind of depth to a project. And so I'm going to add some splatters with my same blue watercolors that I was using uh, on the stencils. And I just load up my paintbrush with a little bit of water and some of that paint. And then I, you can tap with whatever you want to tap with. Your finger works well. Or I have a little scoring tool that has a little bit of weight to it, which I like to use to tap on my paintbrush. I'm also going to add some white splatters using some white ink. Uh, this is a white acrylic ink from Amsterdam. And this is uh, something I use quite often. If anytime you see a project with white splatters on it, this is uh, quite possibly what I used. Oops, don't drop my paintbrush there. So I make sure my brush is just a little bit wet, not too much water, but your brush can be wet and just go ahead and dip that in the ink and then use the same splattering technique. And just make sure you wash that out of your paintbrush, especially if you're using one of your good brushes. Okay, so I think our background is pretty well complete. And so I'm going to go ahead and add our pretty birds and our blooming branch. So now I think we'll finish it off with a sentiment and I have the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year sentiment from the tree trimming set in my Misty here and I like to use my Misty when I'm stamping sentiments onto watercolor paper. Uh, watercolor paper doesn't always stamp very nicely and so if I put it in my Misty and that way I have a little more um, 
confidence that it's going to turn out good. I can always go back and restamp multiple times if I need a darker impression onto that watercolor paper. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Stamped it twice and that was looking pretty good. And so then we'll just go ahead and add that to a card base and our card is finished. All right, thanks for joining me everybody. I hope you liked this little tutorial on creating watercolor backgrounds using our Frosty Flakes stencil.